So we have small in the reverse. So somebody may have thought something wasn't a big deal or that somebody was smaller um, or something is a bigger deal than somebody thought it was going to be because someone is above and beyond something here. We have off. Strike while the iron is hot. So somebody could be going off about somebody being big or being seen as a big person. Somebody could have thought that they were a big person, like I'm getting like big man on campus vibes kind of thing. <clears throat> Somebody could have also underestimated somebody, but someone is going above and beyond something. Someone could be blowing up, ascending, um, hitting some sort of um, accomplishment or accolade or recognition. Somebody wants to strike while the iron is hot and run away from something, but something is slow moving. Someone is realizing that something is few and far between. Um, someone is um, really out of this world and... Um, somebody doesn't want to miss out on their opportunity to be with another person so somebody may have underestimated someone's abilities or their character or who they are but now they see somebody um, sideways energy is like now near future energy so that is like somebody is seeing somebody accelerate elevate um, go to heights that they didn't expect someone to go to it's kind of interesting Someone is loving on themselves. I'm in love with myself. So somebody is watching another person love themselves, being independent, self-sufficient, you know, so somebody could be um, single at this time, taking care of themselves. Somebody may have underestimated someone's ability to take care of themselves. Someone may have judged another person as if they are codependent or they need someone to take care of them. But somebody's just busy loving on themselves. Somebody doesn't care about what other people think. They're just doing them. One man's trash is another man's treasure and someone's jaw is dropping. Somebody is like, what? I got to run. I got to jump on this. So somebody wants to run towards this person and strike while the iron is hot. Um, and somebody may be fearing that they're moving too slow. Or that they may, may miss out on their opportunity to be with this person. <clears throat> you was kind, you was smart, you was important. And that is in the reverse. So somebody may have not been kind to you. Someone may have viewed you as maybe you're not a kind person. Maybe they judged you as being cold hearted. Uh, maybe because you're in your king or queen of swords energy, thinking more logically, using your heart a little bit less. You know, you don't mix your words. You mean what you say. You say what you mean. Um, somebody may have underestimated your intelligence, which I find kind of offensive um, in this energy because somebody just took one look at someone and they're like, oh, they're not smart. They can't take care of themselves. They can't do this, that, and the other. And so someone judged a book by its cover, but now it's like, if you're a bird, I'm a bird. Someone wants what you have. It's like, oh, well, this person is elevating. You see all the good, the good things that are happening for this person. And someone is like, I want what they have. Some you're inspiring someone Houston, we have a problem. So there was a problem with somebody underestimating another person and judging them based on outward appearances. If you want something, go get it. Somebody feels like they missed out on their opportunity. You could be moving forward with somebody else or you could just be deciding to stay single. Somebody is thinking that they messed up, that they missed out on an opportunity. I feel the need for speed because they moved too slow or they did not take some sort of action. Go ahead and make my day. Um, it, it may be um, <clears throat> it may be making you feel good if you hear from this person or this person um, feels like it would make their day if you would talk to them or contact them. You may already know this person or you may have um, been friends with this person. There's some sort of connection where you at least know of each other. And somebody feels like they missed out on the opportunity to do something because they moved too slow. They didn't take any action. They judged you. Um, and they are realizing they had everything completely wrong. That's what happens when you do shit like that. I'm just saying. You go around looking, you know, making judgments on people just by how a situation looks. Or, you know, when you go by what other people say. Ooh, a whistle in the reverse. So we have somebody who um, didn't blow the whistle. Somebody was keeping a secret. We have bride. So 
maybe somebody was looking for marriage material and maybe they thought that you were not marriage material. Um, maybe they didn't think that you would make a good bride or something like that. Or maybe they thought that you were not who they were looking for or what they were looking for. And now they're like, what did I do? Someone is realizing you were marriage material all along and you're just loving on yourself. You're not dependent on other people. It's like, if you want something, you have the ability to go get it yourself, um, or you have people to help you out, <clears throat> or someone to help you out in a time of need, um, whether it's friends or family or something. Uh, maybe somebody thought you didn't have a support system, but um, somebody may be helping you out. Maybe you are getting unexpected help in a situation. Somebody thought you were alone, that nobody cared about you. Somebody really judged something really badly. So communication could have been bad. Mercury retrograde, electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. So something could have happened during Mercury retrograde. Um, there could have been a lack of communication or there could have been some sort of communication that somebody received that made them realize they screwed up. Somebody could have used electronic issues as an excuse or somebody could have had problems with their car. No, it's not the right time. So there's something that happened during Mercury retrograde um, that could have re made somebody realize that something could be in divine timing. Uh, manifest, tell the universe exactly what you want. Maybe somebody didn't know what they wanted. Maybe they didn't realize they wanted you until something happened during Mercury retrogrades. So, um, somebody could have been having trouble with their car, electronics. Somebody could have gotten stranded. And somebody has um, seen you pick yourself back up and manifest. Um, what, and they could be having trouble manifesting or bringing something to fruition because something is not right for them. So something that someone else is trying to manifest isn't working for them, but they see something working for you and your ability to make things like, I don't know, it's like pull miracles out of your ass. Someone is a narcissist. Someone is full of themselves or they view you as a narcissist. So somebody could view you as a narcissist because things have a way of working out for you. It's like that person just gets everything they want kind of thing. So I'm also picking up on, a, on a, an energy of jealousy, whether it's this person or somebody else that is connected to you or this person who feels like they missed out on an opportunity. Someone is really full of themselves. They thought they were like the best thing since sliced bread. So they had all these standards, like a checklist of like, this is what I want in a person. And you didn't meet that checklist. And um somebody is realizing they screwed up because something could have happened during this last mercury retrograde where somebody thought that you didn't have the ability to manifest or that you know something was just never going to work out for you and then something flipped and something ended up working out to your benefit even if it didn't look good on the outside and this person is really just full of themselves and now they feel like they've missed out on the opportunity to be with you um, or make some sort of move towards you uh yeah, this person, I'm getting like an energy of like shallowness, like somebody who looks at outside appearances and judges the outside more than the inside. Hmm. So yes, luck is on your side in the reverse. So somebody's somebody's not lucky. They may have thought you weren't lucky. They're like, oh, well, all this stuff is happening to this person. They must be the most unluckiest person in the world. And that's not the case. Um, because something did work out for you. <clears throat> now, if this person was in your situation, they would not have been able to do what you have done. So it's like they've literally watched you do the impossible with a situation. You will be traveling soon. So somebody could be taking a vacation or traveling soon. Communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. Someone's going to be traveling towards you. They want to communicate something to you. I'm hearing an apology. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Um... I don't know. Hopefully this person healed. Yeah. Okay. I have challenges here. Make a decision, work on inner healing. So hopefully whoever this is has healed themselves. However, they're still coming up as a narcissist, um, or they have narcissistic tendencies. 
So hopefully before this person comes towards you, they could have worked on themselves and done some healing, but somebody wants to travel towards you and communicate um, possibly how they feel about you or their admiration for you, but they had some healing they needed to do. And hopefully they did that before they try to approach a divine femme or masculine, because otherwise they're going to keep judging people by appearances. Somebody wants to make a deal, partnership, Capricorn energy could be significant. Somebody wants to make a deal. Somebody wants to strike a deal or come into a partnership with another person. I mean, I feel like this person treats things more like as a business, you know, like somebody who is using their emotions less and just looks at like the pros and cons of something. Well, this will benefit me if it can benefit you. Like somebody doesn't want to put forth an effort unless they get something out of it. And now that you have something that they view as valuable or that they feel like they could benefit from now they're seeing, Oh, well maybe this was a good opportunity and I just screwed it up, but they're, they're looking at it from more like a business standpoint than an emotional one, which sometimes is a good thing. But in this case, I'm getting like someone is just looking, um, I feel like more of like financial st security, stability kind of thing and less emotional, less lovey. It's, I'm hearing the like, well, what do you bring to the table kind of shit? It's like somebody may have thought you didn't have anything to bring to the table. And I hate that shit more than anything because that just makes you sound like a gold digger when you say shit like that. So believe your belief systems could be significant. Someone may have disagreed with what you believe in as well. So there may have been some sort of religious or spiritual, whatever, um, differences or practices. And this person was like, oh, this person will never be able to manifest or get what they want because they just, God is not on their side. They're, they're just this evil, dark person. They're into all this satanic shit. So once again, somebody judged a book by its cover. But yeah, they see you manifesting and bringing stuff to fruition, and they see you uh, making the best out of a bad situation, and it's kind of blowing them away a little bit. I haven't used these for a while, my angel cards. So I'm going to check these out and see if anything comes out of these. <clears throat> So somebody didn't get a message or somebody didn't send a message to somebody who um, wanted to partner up with somebody or there's a divine partnership or someone views you as a divine partnership. There was a lack of communication, a lack of um, everything. So you could be at a distance from this person. It's like somebody was lost with the sheep here. Somebody felt like they were lost or somebody was lost and they want to come out of the cold. Um, they could have thought you were the lost one. Um, like a lost soul in need of saving that you were the problem. Somebody viewed you as the problem for something that happened in your life. Um, so, you know, the rain falls on the just and the unjust, but somebody didn't look at it that way. Somebody thought that all the bad things that were happening to you were justifiable in some way, shape or form. Um, possibly because of what you believe in or what you, you know, you stand for as far as morality and ethics. And it's not that you believe in like some bad stuff it's just you believe differently than this person so somebody could have not sent you a message because they viewed you as a lost person or a lost cause or a lost soul perhaps at the time they didn't think something was worth the effort okay that's just the energy i'm getting Somebody's really kicking themselves now. Someone's in despair because something is moving or traveling. You could be moving or traveling. It could be you moving or traveling away from your area or this person. This person could be in despair and wanting to come towards you um, to communicate something to you before you have the opportunity to leave, before they miss their opportunity to communicate to you or speak to you. You may have changed your number or location before. Maybe they've been trying to locate you. 
but somebody is not going to get that new start, the new beginning that they thought they were going to get because they created an injustice. So somebody is not getting um, this Ace of Pentacles um, here with somebody because they deem them as a lost cause and they turn their back on them. <clears throat> somebody is getting the message that the only thing that somebody cares about is money. So with the Page of Wands here, there's some sort of communication or message that somebody only cares about money and resources. It's like I said, when people say, well, what do you bring to the table? What the fuck do you mean? Is my love, affection good enough? Like if I'm not trying to use someone, like it's like someone may have tried to defend themselves and somebody was just like, oh, well, you know, we can sleep together though. I, I mean, it's like somebody, I don't know, somebody only cared about money or finances and somebody's getting the message about somebody possibly getting finances and they can't stop thinking about this so somebody could have heard that you were going to get some sort of money or settlement that you are coming up out of a dark place <clears throat> without them or without anybody else um somebody could be thinking about being in poverty here a loss of financial security stability um, you may have lost that in the past or somebody did here and they could be in poverty right now and someone is thinking about money this could be you getting a message about money or somebody hearing a message about you receiving money and someone's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Why, why do they deserve to get money? Like someone is just seeing something work out for you and they never expected this to happen. Why do they deserve this? Why is something working out for them? It's like somebody is truly is a narcissist. It's like they feel so entitled about what you're getting and they're upset that they're not getting it because that's all they care about i mean somebody just that's all they focus on is money so somebody was juggling finances and this caused an injury so something um happened financially <clears throat> you or somebody else may have had to juggle jobs for a while and you were injured if you're in a state of poverty with the page of pentacles here you could have lost a significant amount of money because somebody looked at you, they didn't help you, other people may not have helped you because they were so busy being full of themselves. Meanwhile, you're trying to just love on yourself, trying to heal, trying to do whatever you need to do, following your own path. That's the thing that pisses me off with that religion and spiritual shit. Everyone has their own path, and it's not any of our business as to what someone else follows, and it's not our business to judge whether they are worthy of something or not. Somebody deemed you unworthy in the past, and they turned their back on you, and that is the energy I'm picking up here, and that shit's pissing me off. Because now they're concerned, well, how come this person deserves this, and why don't I? Like, why didn't I get this? You getting a treasure, something of value, has somebody devastated. Somebody found out about this, and they were devastated. Why is this person getting this? They do not deserve it. Like, mm. they're going to communicate something to you, though. <clears throat> there was a lot of conflict going on. A lot of conflict. There's a group of people here fighting, and someone's in despair here over this group fighting because they may have thought they were going to get a chunk of money from someone, and they're not getting shit. I said what I said. Y'all ain't getting shit. Because you didn't deserve it. You judged this person. You took advantage of this person. You treated this person like shit. You didn't help this person. You were an unofficial person. And this person who is in the upright is good with money. Just because they were in poverty doesn't mean they don't know how to budget money or finances. This person had other people fighting against them, causing all kinds of conflict to fuck up their finances. It was not this Queen of Pentacles fault what happened to them financially. But somebody thought that you were the piece of shit because bad things were happening to you. But someone went spying and investigating and found out different. And now they're singing a different song. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Something has been laid to rest. So some sort of investigation or spying... Um, is revealing something being laid to rest. This could even be about a friend, family member, or, you know, somebody close to you that passed away. So there's some sort of spying or investigation. So somebody could have passed away and left you some sort of money, and someone is pissed off about this because they wanted you desolate, alone, isolated. Um, you know, they thought you were a piece of trash, and they left you wherever you were to fend for yourself, and now you're coming up out of this state of poverty, out of this bullshit, and you've managed to pull yourself out, and there's a whole group of people pissed off that they 
didn't get something that you actually deserved. <clears throat> Someone's coming towards you with an offer, though, so just be careful. Was per someone showing back up? Well, now someone wants to offer you some flowers. So somebody wants to come towards you and offer you some flowers. Um, you could be a good parent. You could be seen as a loving and caring parent. But somebody is concerned about money. Now all of a sudden somebody wants to come towards you and they want to be compare, you know, caring and compassionate towards you, but they weren't before. So you're going to have to question this person's motives as to why now. What is it that they feel like they can get? Because if this is the kind of person who only uses relationships as if they're transactions, okay, um, what what are you going to get from it? Okay, so if you did partner up with this person, what would you get from it? If you can take care of yourself and you don't need their money, um, are they loving, caring, and compassionate? Because it sounds like they've checked out emotionally and they're a narcissist, so they need to do some healing. So I, I be careful. If somebody's wanting to partner up with you, you know, um, ask yourself, what do they have to offer you? What the fuck do they bring to the table since they want to bring it up so much, since they want to view life as that way? What do they have to offer you? Can they offer you monogamy? I mean, just because they're coming towards you to offer you some flowers, does that mean they're going to be faithful to you? I mean, if they left you where you stood before on your own to fend for yourself... You don't have anything to prove to anyone, especially this mofo, whether it's a man or woman. You don't have anything to prove to anybody. Somebody's not moving. Something something is not moving. Someone is not traveling or somebody is stuck from traveling or moving <clears throat> because of a financial imbalance. So you may have had difficulty moving or traveling because you were low on finances, because you're in a state of poverty, because of all the conflict and the bullshit that you've been going through, right? So this person liked that because it fit the narrative of what they portrayed you to be possibly to other people if you were in a relationship with them before and they spread some sort of narrative or tale or anybody you don't necessarily have to have been in a relationship with them per se but somebody spread a narrative that you're a piece of shit blah 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 well the reason you weren't moving is because there was a financial imbalance created and now something's being balanced out financially or it's going to be uh, because of some sort of money that's coming your way and somebody is pissed off about this being balanced out for you and now that you have finances to offer, now they want to come towards you with an offer. So uh, <clears throat> you're going to have to be careful because you're going to have financial stability and somebody was a lion ass piece of shit with the queen of swords somebody was cold-hearted so somebody told some sort of lies they were cold-hearted they were unempathetic you know this could be a friend family member relative that didn't want you to be able to move or travel or get unstuck because they could have been spinning a narrative about you this could have been your own family or somebody that was talking all kinds of shit about you but you're getting this ten of pentacles, you're going to have financial security and family stability. And there are people that's really not happy for you about this. <clears throat> I mean, they are really, really not happy. I mean, they're in despair, pissed off. Like, how could this be? This person doesn't deserve this because of possibly what you believe or something. There's a stalemate here. Someone could have a decision to make. Someone's at a crossroads because they were trying to affect your peace. And they had a lot of people coming at you, causing conflict. And something is still working out for you. And somebody does not like that, that you have ancestral protection. You know, you see those birds there? You you could have walked blindly into a situation and you were still protected by your ancestors there. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat clearing, guys. I'm out of my Claritin. So somebody was intentionally trying to create barriers for you so you wouldn't have money coming towards you because that fit the role, the narrative that they wanted you to play. Um, somebody was trying to control your life. And somebody that you know um, was talking about you and trying to make people believe something about you and they caused a lot of conflict intentionally so that you wouldn't have love and happiness and so somebody you know that would want to be in a relationship with you would look at you as if you're a piece of shit but someone here is not moving on to calmer waters because of what they did
Yeah, because someone's a gold digger. I'm telling you, if someone's like, well, what do you bring to the table? Like I said, what do you bring to the table? If they're only coming back to you because you have money or money coming towards you, that's why they're not moving or traveling. Because maybe they're stuck. And they wanted this for you, so they could be experiencing some lack of finances because of what they wish to happen to you. And they want to know how you're able to pull yourself up out of this shit, and they can't. Yeah, you have money coming towards you, and they're stuck in the hangman. They have barriers in their path because of what they did to you. That's why they're not moving on to calmer waters. There's barriers put in their path. Meanwhile, you have money coming towards you, and they're not liking this at all. Yeah, there's there's an ending, Ten of Swords. So you could be taking a moment to pause and reflect about something, and you're like, no, something is not worth my time. There's a permanent ending to this, and you're going to walk away and not deal with this person. They, they could possibly just not be worth your time. That is a message of concern for someone. With the Five of Swords here, that is a message of concern about a permanent ending or something ending permanently and them not having a way back in because now you have something to offer that they want. <clears throat> and they caused you a heartbreak, so they don't get to move on to calmer waters and just get a new start, a new beginning, and come back in as if they didn't do all this horrible shit to you or judge you or treat you badly or cause a financial imbalance or cause conflict for you, however it was in your situation. Whatever it was, it was a very heartbreaking situation. This was a karmic lesson, karmic relationship. You learned your lesson. <clears throat> Ten of Wands, you may be heavily burdened, but you're moving forward. You have the courage, strength, and perseverance, and you are going to be traveling. You are going to be moving. Something is moving. You are going to be moving forward. And you know what? This person has to reap the karma for the shit that they've done to you and to other people and for not healing themselves. You know, maybe they need to go get one of those shadow book journals or some shit, you know? Some people need that, I guess. I don't know. But first you have to acknowledge that there's a problem. Ten of Swords. A permanent ending. There's an ending because of a betrayal. Someone is... A betrayer someone can't be trusted they will betray someone the first chance they get and they could have a history of doing this and creating illusions and they created a very emotional situation because they don't know how to be honest with other people and themselves they're a shapeshifter they change themselves their attitude their persona um to coincide with whoever they're dealing with at the time so this is the kind of person that will act a certain way or have certain mannerisms around a certain group of people but around another group of people they act completely different <clears throat> and you are being set free from a negative situation and this person and this person was pissed off that um maybe that they couldn't keep you trapped in this emotional roller coaster of bullshit Somebody was not happy. Someone was very pissed off all up in their emotions. They were not happy about an emotional situation. And that could have even been you that were not happy in an emotional situation. That could be why you're setting yourself free and not dealing with this person. Because you see through the illusions now. You see that this person is a betrayer. That they're a fair weather friend. That they only care about what they can get from you. Not what they have to offer you. Like I said, if someone wants to come to you and say, well, what do you bring to the table? What do you bring? Material possessions? So what? If you've been in poverty, that's obviously not important to you. What do they have to offer you besides material shit? And if they can't offer that shit, then what What good are they to you? You know? Who gives a shit what they get from it? What the fuck do you get from it? If there's an equal give and take, there has to be an equal give and take. You have to get what you need out of the situation, and you were never getting what you wanted out of the situation. And it looks like there's still not capable of offering you what you need you know not everyone's emotional not everyone needs someone up their ass all the time but you need love like if you have a relationship and you're treating it as if it's a business deal or proposition that's not love it's not gonna last this person's gonna bolt and betray you the first chance they get as soon as they find the bigger better deal
You're coming out of the cold. You are. You're fine. You're good. This person wants to come out of the cold. They could have left you out in the cold before. You're going from your five to your ten of pentacles. And there's people admiring you. Admiring your, your new start. Your new beginning. You get a clean slate. Like I said, whoever you are, you have money coming towards you. And it could be, you know, a decent chunk of change enough to get out of the situation you're in. And someone was pissed off that you would not tolerate their bullshit by involving you in a third party situation. So the person who was all up in their feelings created this five of cups situation in the reverse by dealing with a third party. So they're obviously not trustworthy to begin with, but they want to know what the fuck you bring to the table. Tell them to go fuck the fuck off. They're, they're a waste of your time. They're, they're, this is just a waste of time. Somebody had addictions or obsessions with that third party there. So somebody had some sort of addiction or obsession that they shared with this third party. And they were in despair. Um, so, I mean, but you know what? And this could have been you in despair to find out that this person was addicted or obsessed with dealing with the third party. They could have been doing drugs together, drinking together, sleeping together. They could have lied and said that they weren't dealing with this person anymore. It, it doesn't matter what necessarily the situation was the situation is is this person created the situation by screwing you over and i'm getting that they were they were probably sleeping with this person um they were probably getting high and drunk and sleeping with this person they could have shared some sort of whatever um and they left you in despair you know when you found out about this so the emotional situation was created by them the narcissist not you who's just loving on yourself and trying to move on with your life so, it is what it is. They had you in competition. They had you competing with somebody. This tyrant, this emperor, this masculine had you competing. Balance is being restored. Things are looking up for you and this person is kicking themselves for not sticking it out with you. Because now you have something they want. Money. Yeah. There was barriers put in path. There was a third party. There was a competition that were placing barriers in the path to a successful relationship. Along with the fact that this person didn't want to heal themselves. This king of wands. This player. They put the barriers in the path themselves by spreading it all over. By not being faithful. Now you have money. Now they want to come to you and be faithful and loyal to you. I don't. I'm not buying it. I'm just not. They put you in a competition. I mean look at these. I mean this This says it all here. Player energy. Barriers. And competition. I mean that says it all right there. They were definitely cheating. They didn't care. They were very restless. They were not. They were non-committal. They created this emotional situation that now they're finding themselves in. That they tried to create for you. Yeah, you may have been emotional for a minute, but you healed. You got over it. They caused you a heartbreak. You're like, okay, they want the third party. Let them keep the third party, and you moved on with your life. And that tore this person up because the worst thing you can do to a narcissist is ignore them. Well, it's the best thing for you. It's the worst thing for them because they can't stand to be ignored. <clears throat> but you're the wounded warrior. They caused you an injury. What the fuck did they think you were going to do? I mean, just keep letting them hurt you? That's a them problem, not a you problem. You're moving on to calmer waters. You're fine. You're going to be good. You don't need their raggedy ass. There's not a lot of good memories. There's not good communication. Um, you may not have a lot of fond memories of this person. Because of what they did to you. So while they're all like, oh, this person will just take me back. You remember what the fuck they did to you, so why would you? You don't have happy memories of this person. You have bad memories of this person. Memories of this person tearing your heart out, ripping it up. Throwing it out the window, not giving a shit. You have memories of this person cheating on you with a third party and you finding out about it and being in despair. You have memories of this person placing barriers in your path and causing conflict with you and your family. What the fuck does this person have to offer you? What do they bring to the table besides their drama? But yeah, they called you the fucking dramatic one? Okay. 
Make that shit make sense. You're getting your ten of pentacles. Plain and simple. You're good. You're going to have financial security and stability. You're moving on. Moving away from whatever bullshit this is. It's just drama. They could have acted like you were the dramatic one. And this person, this masculine, is more dramatic than it's like the energy of like the scarlet o'hair like oh woe is me like if i don't get what i want i'm just gonna ruin your life <clears throat> if you don't let me cheat on you i'm gonna tell everyone that you cheated on me like this is just some crazy bullshit i mean that's just the energy i mean <laughs> proceed with caution do not test the water with both feet somebody should have erred on the side of caution before they went and did some stupid shit, okay? So if they ever thought that they were going to get you back, they shouldn't have done all this crazy shit to you. They said that they didn't change, that they're still the same. Um, or they said that they changed, but they didn't. So if they were a cheater, you know, if they cheated in past relationships or something like that, um, you know, or they were impulsive, did stuff impulsively, um, they were, they're still the same person. They claim that they didn't change. They're still the same. Or they really are still the same. They're still a player. So you need to proceed with caution when dealing with this person. Take it how it resonates to your situation. This person didn't change. They were meeting up with somebody. So somebody was desperate. A cord cutting is needed. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Um, sometimes it's very simple. Sometimes you can just do it in your own home. Everyone's different. So when it comes to cord cutting stuff, um, and, um, uh, return to senders and stuff like that, I don't go into detail in the comments and stuff like that. I don't explain it because everyone is different. Some people don't even have to use things or do any sort of rituals or spell work. Um, some of y'all can just do something with a candle, speaking some sort of affirmation and just saying your words, speaking the intention. Um, you don't have to go out and like, necessarily mix up a bunch of herbs and spices however um you know if that's what you're called to do like i said if you're called to do something do what you're called to do don't do something just because somebody tells you to do it so find your path but be careful you're not mixing you know mixing up spells and doing all kind of crazy stuff with like hexing and cursing um be careful about what you're doing okay just be careful <clears throat> they definitely changed up on you okay so they did change up on you a cord cutting is needed. They changed up on you. They say that they never cheated on you, but they lie. This person lies. Um, they obviously did. And you found out about it, or you're aware of it, or you had suspicions. And if you're intuitive, you don't have to have physical proof. You know what you know. And you know what? And people will use that all the time. Well, you didn't catch me. You don't have any proof. You don't have any evidence. Motherfucker, spirit gave you all the evidence you need. Stop ignoring the red flags, all right? Don't bring more drama to yourself in your situation by allowing someone to come in and rob you blind the second time, okay? Use your common sense, please. Not everything is, like, spiritual. Sometimes just use your brain a little bit, and that'll help. <clears throat> they intentionally cause an injustice for you, and they're still immature. I thought this was high school. They're still immature. Still. There's something significant happening in the next 9 to 12 months for some of you. Someone's throwing rocks and hiding hands, hoping that they can catch your attention. So, um, something good could be happening for you. And someone is trying to get your attention. They want you to reach out to them. For some of you, they may try to directly contact you, but this person really gets a thrill out of it. If you would reach out to them, it would give them some sort of confirmation that they're the shit. Um, so just ignore them. Somebody wants you to reach out to them, just, just let it go. Someone's trying to get your attention, um, make some noise, and, you know, they feel like they're being ignored or forgotten, as they should, because they are. Uh, 
Oh, so someone's not happy and they were fit to be tied. So something didn't work out the way somebody thought it was going to. So they ended up not getting their happy ending or whatever with this third party. Or maybe they ran out of resources. I don't know. You require an equal give and take. And that's exactly what you require. No less. Um, whoever you are, you know your worth. And if you don't, you better go find it out. Otherwise, you're going to keep repeating this cycle until you learn it. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody had you stuck between a rock and a hard place. They wanted you stuck between a rock and a hard place. They didn't want you to be happy. They wanted you to be sad. They wanted you and your emotions fit to be tied so that they were in control. That's not what happened, though. They created a perfect storm for themselves. There's a tower moment that's going to hit. It's working out for you because you have this money coming to you. And this is going to permanently cut whatever cord they had attached to you. Um, because they can't control your money anymore, or your finances, or your ability to make money. And that was kind of the ace in the hole that they had, was controlling your money, when you get it, how you get it, um, so that you, you, you can't leave. You have to just kind of bend the knee and submit to whatever bullshit they got going on. <clears throat> the initials Q, R, S, or T could be significant. Air sign Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius could be significant. Life's a bitch for somebody. They wanted to just bury the hatchet. You know, all's fair in love and war. Um, they're experiencing bad luck because that's what they wanted for you. They're putting on a show, a dog and pony show. It's all for show. I mean, they're a narcissist. It's what they do. It's that magician shapeshifter energy. They wanted to be a pain in the neck, a pain in the butt. Okay. Um, well, that's why they're experiencing bad luck. This person thinks you're as dull as dishwater, but yet you're the big man on campus. Okay. So this person who thinks you're so dumb, you're coming up as the big man on campus and they weren't passionate about you with fan the flames in the reverse they weren't passionate about you when they had the opportunity to be with you instead they were pain in the neck pain in the butt and they did you dirty and so now they just want you to forget all that and bury the hatchet and forget everything that they did just because you're showing up as you know boss energy now it's kind of not how it works i mean some people get away with it, but whoever I'm reading for, they're not letting this slide. Very first card. They judged a book by its cover. That's what I said at the very beginning of this reading. That's the energy I'm picking up. That is the truth. This person's all about looks. They're shallow. A Leo could be significant. A Leo could be getting ready to get arrested. Somebody has to throw in the towel here. There could be something significant happening on a Tuesday in a November, or something did happen on a Tuesday in November, or something's going to happen on a Tuesday in November. Somebody could be getting arrested. Um, there could be something significant about a Thursday. Someone is shady as fuck, so someone shady as fuck um, did something on a Thursday, or something is going to happen on a Thursday. So for some of you, this has yet to come because this is in the upright. So for some of you, this is what is going to be happening maybe at the end of this year. So there was something significant about March. So someone could have been a Pisces or Aries wet behind the ears. So somebody could have thought that an Aries or Pisces was wet behind the ears. They were immature, that they were uneducated. And then we have the Leo here. So there's something significant about a Leo. A Leo could have tried to take advantage of somebody then, or something happened, you know, flip the rules as needed. But someone is honorable. And then we have the Pisces. So somebody did something to a Pisces. A Pisces is honorable, respectable here. And we have somebody who's three sheets to the wind because somebody tried to rob a Pisces by hook or crook. Somebody was trying to set up a Pisces or a Pisces did this to somebody else. And then we have Aries. So somebody could be an Aries Pisces cusper as well. Somebody's intrigued and they want to know more, but for what? For what? For what? That's my question. That's what you got to ask yourselves, you know. I just give you the messages. You got to make your own decisions. All right, person, place, or thing. P could be significant. <clears throat> Q. V. 
fifty. B. Okay. You know, this isn't Burger King. You don't get to have it your way. Somebody thinks it is. There's a narcissist here who thinks it's Burger King, but it's not. D. VD. Someone could have a venereal disease as well. R. Doctor. Yeah, someone needs to get to the doctor and get checked out. Someone has a venereal disease. O. E. Hmm, Dr. Dre could be significant as well. A. Lourdes could be significant. L-O-R-D-E-S. Um, it could be somebody's name. V. Last ones. I and another O. So I have P Q V O E B K D R L O I N E. I hope this helps. Have a good day.